All right, so I'm going to ask you a question. Why, why a Dare to Share event? Okay, let's pray. <laughs> Father? <laughs> I think, um, boy, for me personally and even in my ministry, why a Dare to Share event? I mean, there's, boy, there's a lot of answers to that. It's a fun event. It's, um, it's this catalyst. It's this movement. But, but for us, it's just, it's just who we are. It's, it's our DNA in our, in our youth ministry. Mm. And so that's just why we do that because awesome. that's what we're all about. I think Dare Share does such a great job of reaching their heart in such creative ways, but they don't stop there. We all know the, the heart's kind of the way to the head and, and they start there and then they just continue on and really train and equip them and they come back feeling confident in how to share their faith mm -hmm. and what they believe and they've been fed the Word of God. The whole thing is just so centered in so many creative ways around the Word of God and it's just been, it's been really great to see them respond to that and mm -hmm. continue it when we get back. You know, sure. it's just interesting, Carrie. You know, one of the things that Scott said, it's a fun event, mm -hmm. and you said it's a training event. And yeah. usually those, those words don't come together, but it seems like they kind of coalesce at a Dare to Share conference in some way. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I think what's really helpful is that <clears throat> it's not me. It's different. I, I can tell my kids to share their faith a lot, and after a while, I get tuned out. But they'll come to Dare to Share hear the exact same thing in, in different ways, in a different atmosphere that there's no way you can replicate in your youth ministry. Mm -hmm. And there's light bulbs that go off. And as a result, they go crazy. They, they can't be contained. They can't wait to go talk to people and, and then to go home. So different is really a really good thing with Dare to Share. And they're, they're motivated because they're seeing all these other students who are fired up about yeah. it too, I yeah. think. And it's like, hey, okay. Uh, this doesn't have to feel so awkward. Everybody else is, is in the same boat, and, and it's just presented in such a fun way, and, and it gets them so fired up and motivated. Well, yeah, for me, it was, I, I have uh, kids in my ministry that haven't been around the church world or haven't been to these conferences, and so kind of like that thing that they, they have this concept, like it's going to be maybe sitting in a church, kind of a pew seeing and just hearing a guy talk. I, I'm, I, again, I'm imagining, and they've shared with me what they mm -hmm. were thinking, but when they walk into this coliseum, this arena full of other kids, they're like, wow, okay, it's not just me, it's not just our youth group, it's, there's this bigger picture here, and so that, for that, yeah, that's totally something that resonated with my... All of a sudden, it's cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, it's the, well they, don't, they don't feel alone. I mean, how often are they at school in, in, amongst hundreds of students, and they feel like they're on an island, yeah. but they go into that arena, into that atmosphere. They, they feel maybe even alone in your own youth ministry, mm -hmm. but they go there mm -hmm. and they're part of something bigger than themselves and they, they can't get enough. Right. And I think that's something our kids all the time say, it's not just me. I felt like I was one of everybody in there and that was just so awesome. Can we, can we go next year? They're making me go, you know, it's like, yeah, we're going. So they love that. They think it's great. 